Hi there folks, it's Handmade by Shirley. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for all your nice comments and for watching these Gummy a Pan Advent Calendar videos. So I've already opened day five because my videos seem to be going on quite long and I don't want people to get bored. Although it is quite, it is nice, I always, I like anyway, and it is nice to see the process. But I opened it up and just got a few ideas in my head because I think opening up and just trying to think what you're going to do is quite difficult. So today's Advent 5 and this is what was in it. So it was a rubber ring, a palm tree, probably see it better on that side, and an umbrella or a parasol if you want to call it if I can get it. So I think if I'd opened that up without slightly prepping, I would have thought, oh, what am I going to do? And it would have taken really quite long because I would have had to go get out my seat, get to my storage and just because my stuff isn't just right at my desk here. So anyway, so I've pre-cut two of each. Actually, I've cut four of, oh well, I've cut two of each, but I thought I might layer some up and I might not. And I've also got a stamp out, which is Inkylicious, which is of the um, Waves by the Sea. So I thought I'd use that. And I've pre-cut um, a piece of card, um, which is, I'll pop these over here. And I think I'll pop them back in because I don't want them to get lost. Because they're cute. I'll pop them up there. So I've already prepared a piece of multifarious card because I can use, I'm going to use some ink blending on them and I'll just find, I like the multifarious because it um, can take any medium. Now I did wipe this but it seems it's picked up some other stuff so I'll just give it a wee wipe. So I hope everyone's well this morning or afternoon whenever it comes out in your um, part of the world. Um, so let's get started. So what I thought I'd do, so I've cut this to, I think it was six and a half, no, four and a half by six and a half. Um, and I thought I would do waves, probably bring this down slightly. As well, um, in the background here, and then I put some of the stuff at the sides. So that's my plan. So I'm going to do some ink blending for the background of the waves, and then I'm going to do some heat embossing. So I've got some tea dye here, which I thought I'd use for the beach. So if we look at this picture here of the that that's what I'm hoping to get so I'll get some tea dye so I just want a little bit of that at the very bottom here and I'm going to just put a piece of something under my um, just put this under my so I'm just going to come in lightly. I don't want it to be really dark. I just want it to be a nice light bit of sand. So I'm not going to put any more on my brush. Just going to, I don't think anyway. I just want it to be a sort of light smuttering of Oh, maybe I'll have to put a wee bit more on. <laughs> so, but just, I'm not like pressing really hard and I'm just going in circular movements and that's how you get a kind of nice blend of that. Just come up slightly more. A little bit more. Okay, and then I'm going to do the blue. So I've picked out two blues. I've picked out chartered, uncharted mariner in the distress oxides and salvage patina. So I'll 
I do need to find um, something to fit the sub make the bin, that would be better if I used that yesterday. So, right, so we'll get a brush for that. So I'm going to do a bit of Uncharted Mariner near the, the top because it's going to be slightly further away. So we'll just rub off a bit first because I don't want it too heavy. And we might cut this down slightly as well. So just circular movements all across the top here. Like that. And then we'll go to the Uncharted Mariner. Uh, sorry, even the Salvage Patina, which is a lovely light blue colour, so a greeny blue, and then just rub that off a bit as well, and then just bring that on. So yeah, it's more of a sort of greeny colour, isn't it? There we go, so that's what I propose. Now what I propose to do is put away and I'm going to do my heat embossing. So we'll just keep that on so that I go all over the whole thing with your embossing buddy just to get any unwanted bits off anything that will cling and you don't want it to be there and then just and then I have got my stamp so I'm going to use Versamark sticky ink I'm just going to ink this up just to make sure it's well inked This is from Inkylicious, if anybody's interested. So there we go. So let's just bring that into camera. Shall go up slightly, and then just oh, don't move it. you can still see it's quite sunny here I might have to close the curtain a little bit there we go and then we're going to coat that with bear with me for a second because I don't want it to be too sunny it is lovely and sunny here but I want it to be so sunny that you can't see it looks a bit better Curtains. Hope you can still see that. And then I'm going to pop this onto, so pop this to the side and bring this over. Put that away for now. And now it's too dark, isn't it? Let's just put a light on. Hopefully that will help you. Oh dear. <laughs> Not very good at getting the lighting right. I think this is the right one. So it's white. Um, maybe I've got a better white. That one looks a bit full of other things. What's this one? This is white. Crystal transparent. <laughs> Folks, I'm back again. I had a bit of a technical um, problem there and my camera actually stopped and went off. So I don't think you've missed anything. All I did was heat emboss this and I've cut it down because it was too big. So we'll get that nice beach and waves. So let's get on with the rest of the card because we've run out of time and I don't want to be on for ages and ages. Um, because some of it is translucent. I don't want you to be bored, that's really all. Here, I'm going to get a few 
little bits of card by my side there. So I've cut it, but I might have to cut it slightly squarer. So anyway, I've got all these pieces and what I thought I would do is I would just kind of bring them in at the corner and bring them in there at the corner and I put a couple of the umbrellas on the beach or I might just put one there's not much of a beach and a bit of the rubber ring as well like that and I would just pop it onto a bit of craft card for a layer so let's just see what we can do here for a bit of a layer craft card so just technical issues always can happen and it's just annoying that I, I, luckily I noticed I'm just going to chop that down slightly more to make it just five so it makes it a bit squarer let's just see if we can get enough to chop this down a bit more again um, let's just chop this slightly here oh, no. so I'm just chopping it to make it fit onto that layer of card here, at the back, just so it's got a wee tiny border. And I'll chop it a bit more. So if I chop it a bit more, it's four and three quarters, roughly, by what is it? By four and a quarter, roughly. Oh yeah, that looks cool. And then I'll just do my face card, which is a six by six linen. I like to do it on. Just leave that like that. So what I want to do next is just to colour in some of these. I'll put that that way. Colour in some of these um, bits. But first of all, what I'll do is I'll just um, stick this down. And we'll be too long, hopefully. Yeah, I was just I was I was happily heat embossing and then when I put the heat gun down I saw that my um camera had gone off for some reason. I don't know why, but it had. So I've got a bit of a kind of where I've cut it, it's kind of made a ridge so to get rid of that all you need to do is get your bone folder and just flatten that down and that'll that'll be fine and then just pop this on top here Tiny wee border all the way round like that. Really do like that stamp, it's pretty. And let's get on with some I'll just do some colouring, I think. I don't want to make it too um so I'll just pop all these wee bits on there, pop the card out the way just now. Try and get that to stick. Tell you what, I'll put this on top of it just for a minute. Right, so I did, I managed to get into my new pens. So I'm going to use them today. And as I say, they're just, they were out of a shop called TK Maxx. They're just called Montmartre Q-Tip Art Mac Markers. So we'll see how they work. So let's see what sort of colours. I don't want to make it too trying to see some of the colours. So this one's called Chartreuse. So let's just do a bit of colouring. So we'll use that one. I'll use another colour as well. I think. Do a couple of them like that. Let's 
so I hope you've been enjoying my videos. Be really an oh, my cat has come to join me, and you might hear her meowing in the background, which is fine if you don't mind. <laughs> um, I hope you're enjoying the videos as I was saying, and um, you can, you're really welcome to leave a comment. Um, and a lot of people have. So this colour is called Pear Green, which is really nice. That just gives a wee bit of a contrast into the colour. So it's not such a, so it's not flat looking. It just kind of gives it a bit of, as if it looks real. So that's that. down a bit. I'm just going to move my light over slightly as well. Right. So yeah, it's nice if you want to leave a wee comment just to see what you thought. If you liked it, ask me any questions. Absolutely fine. So there's these two. I think I'm going to I might just do these ones as well because I might do a couple of trees on each side or I might not but it'd be better to have kind of them coloured in um, ready to go. Now, I'm not doing these particularly nicely it's basically because I don't want time to march on too much. So we'll just bring that chartreuse one out again and just, just go over it a bit as well and the bits of mist. So these kind of just nice blend, blend in really nicely to the other green. This gives it a bit, it kind of looks a bit more natural and real, I'd say. There we go. So I've done those two. I'll do the, the um, trunk now. So I've got my kind of lighter brown um, one called raw sienna and burnt sienna. So we'll do... So they, they have a dual chip tip as well, chip, I nearly said, tip, so fine and broad. So just a wee bit like that at the top here. And the same. And so just roughly kind of doing it because I'm obviously going to blend in the other brown to it. So this one was raw sienna. Oh, well I could suppose I could do the bigger tip. There we go, that's actually quite easy to so that's one. Two two And there'll be four, and then I'll decide if I'm going to use them all or not. So let's go on to the the parasol. So we could use this bit could be brown. I need to keep that in short. I keep forgetting. Let's move up a bit, a uh, parasol. Do that in brown. Uh, the sienna. And then, let's see, will we have a little bit of pink or orange or something nice? Um, let's see, there's a very pale pink here, which I could do a bit off. And I put a slightly darker pink um, on the top. So we could use the bigger, bigger tip here. That. And then I've got this one called hot pink. Let's see what this is like. Maybe too, maybe a bit too bright. Yeah, that's quite bright. Or maybe not that one. <laughs> um, what's this? There's 
from. Is there any? Mm, that's cute. I think we'll just be using the pink, the, what's this one called? Carnation on the whole thing because it's a bit too bright having the others. Don't want to spoil it. So there we go. Just do that and just. Oh, and then we've got the ring. I'll just do two colours on the ring as well. Oh, did that go in properly? Um, let's make the ring a sort of yellowy colour. So we've got lemon, lemon yellow and yellow. So we'll do a bit of the yellow. Sort of on the, just a bit there. There and this one over there, and then we'll put this one on top. So, usually, always start with the darker colour and then go over with the lighter colour and blend it in like that. Right now, one more thing I want to do with the heat embossing before I um, finish up is the I want to do a wee sentiment so pop that over there for a second I think that will be flat enough now pop that there I'll pop that over top so that the, um, the embossing tool doesn't blow it away so I've got this um, tiny little um, a sentiment saying missing you on it um, so, if I've got a piece of that left, I could just pop that onto, it probably would sit on there better, wouldn't it? Just there. I could just cut that down onto that bit. So, just very quickly, go over that, bring the tree over. my sticky ink onto the stamp and just stamp on this bit here there we go and then just cover it with the embossing powder pop that back in oh I'm sorry for banging the camera Side and then we'll just heat fix this. That's done, and then I've got oh, I've got a piece of this. I'll just pop this onto that. I'm going to cut this down because I don't want that bit on it. Just want to pop a piece of that on it, and then I want to just add this on very quickly. And then I'm just going to cut round this as well. There we go, that's our sentiment piece. <coughs> Excuse me. 
frog in one's throat. Right, let's move that heat tool away, put that away, and just give, they've got a wee bit of this a wipe. Need to get more wipes, if that's the last of them. And just wipe that away because I don't want any embossing powder on the go. And then just bring this all back over. There's some here as well. <laughs> there we go. Right. Right, so that's stuck down nicely. And we're going to add our little bits that we've got. Just give this a wee dry. I don't want to stick my card on a wet surface. Right, so let's see what we can do here. So, I could put one there, one maybe here, and we could have the umbrella here from the sand. And the rubber ring could be somewhere there. And um, we could have our sentiment. Let's see, maybe not there. We could have our sentiment here. Missing you, maybe. And our rubber ring. Well, I'm not sure if I'm going to put two rubber rings or one rubber ring. Um, and if we put, we could put two if we wanted, I suppose. We could put one here. And another tree, perhaps. Right, so let's just put it together and then we'll be done. So we'll pop. down a tiny bit of glue just kind of there I'm trying to decide if I want that it's quite I don't want too much going on um, we could pop a couple of rubber rings let's just do one anyway do one these off for the minute. Let's get my tweezers. Where are you tweezers? Oh dear. I see them. And I see the tweezers just now. Um, let's have a look. Got these ones, but I can't see my normal tweezers, so I'm going to use these. So I'm just going to put let's just start the top actually. Because I might need to cut some bits away. So there, like that, and let's see another one. Just wondering if I should pop some at the opposite side, but I don't want to put too many on because I don't want it to be too busy. Before I pop this one on, I'm going to cut that end off. So I'll just cut this end off here. I just want to 
way I want to place it. I don't want that last bit overlapping really. Just look at that. So you'll see what I mean in a minute when I pop it on. There we go. And then Just kind of coming off like that. Let's do that one as well. Or will I do one at that side? No, that'll do. And then pop so we'll put this one on just like that at that side. Oh, can let go of it. <laughs> there we go and I'm just trying to see will I pop this missing wee bit on the I'm not sure what do you think what do you think that looks like or do you think I need let's see if I think I need oh gosh that's bent <laughs> another umbrella maybe there this missing wee at that side or missing you up here. Let's pop it on up here and then I'll be done. So just pop that on up there. As straight as possible. I think I will put this umbrella on because it feels like there's something missing down here. Oops. Oops. It'll something on it. The beach looks a bit empty. So I'll just pop that on to there. Oh, let go. Lovely. Um, and yep, that's my card. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed Advent number five um, and please let me know what you thought leave a comment give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and um, please watch tomorrow to see what I do with number six bye for now